we've taken it from that simple barbecue to now this year for the first time ever we did two nights two nights three days two nights of meat friends festivities competition it was awesome Our arrival into Wisconsin didn't exactly go smoothly. We ended up having some transmission troubles that kind of got things off to a rough start. So after 40,000 miles in 35-ish states, our transmission blew up 60 miles short of our final destination. But we weren't going to let that get us down. Oh no, we were going <laughs> to keep going. We came to Wisconsin just in the nick of time for our annual Meat Fest, meat fest. extravaganza. Meat Fest extravaganza! <laughs> so on Memorial Day weekend for the past 15-ish Has it been that long? Years, it's really been that long. 15 years, Meat Fest. So before kids, as young married couples, we started this Memorial Day tradition where we would get together and essentially barbecue and just hang out and have a good time on Memorial Day. When we started Meat Fest, it was just a simple like barbecue get together all those years ago. And now the kids greatly outnumber the adults. Yeah. Like this is the time of year the kids spend all year talking about and planning for, and you should have seen all the preparation that went into planning for this Meat Fest by our kids. Like, they were so excited about it. Our kids talk about Meat Fest uh, the entire year, planning for it. So now it's not just the adults being friends, it's the kids are friends too. And we've taken it from that simple barbecue to now, this year, for the first time ever, we did two nights. Two nights! Three days, two nights of meat, friends, festivities, competition. It was awesome. Not had any s'mores. <laughs> <laughs> that is a scary face, to be honest. As young married couples, we started this Memorial Day tradition where we would get together and essentially barbecue and just hang out and have a good time on Memorial Day. It started with hot dogs and hamburgers, the essentials. Oh man, we've done the Joe Burger. The Joe Burger was big. We've done the fiery stick meat. Fiery stick meat. Bacon wrapped shrimp. Yep. And then I built a smoker and we smoked an entire hog, an entire pig we smoked overnight. We really stepped it up that year. That was a big that was a big year forward. We did rib fest last year. That's right, we had all like about the ribs. Eight or ten racks of ribs. Yeah. Smoked those. That was big. Yeah. So we tried something new this year, something we've never done before. Joe decided to smoke a brisket. Brisket. Which is a complicated piece of meat to smoke, but so delicious if you can do it right. And uh, my friend Dan helped, and we smoked it together, and the brisket turned out to be excellent for Meat Fest. It was the best brisket I think you've ever made. Best brisket ever. You've heard it here. But Dan did a bunch of steaks for another meal. Yeah. This year, for the first time ever, we extended Meat Fest to three days and two nights. Yeah. It's just, it's growing. Yeah. So the kids do a camp out in the backyard. There's the boys' tent. There's the girls' tent. They stay up until all hours of the night. Yeah, there's shenanigans. Teasing each other, scaring each other, mm -hmm. eating chips and soda. But we kicked off Meat Fest with the Kid Olympics. And we've been doing it for a 
few years now. Yep. Adam is pretty good at, at organizing that. Yeah, and so what we do is there's we split the kids into two teams as, as evenly as possible. And it's a series of games that they do in the yard. First time, this was Dan's idea. Meat Fest's got talent. Right. Once the meatballs are gone, some bacon on it. Or the grill's left on. Some bacon on it. Judge Bryant doesn't win. Or some bacon on it. Adam <laughs> 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 bacon on it. Put some bacon on it. Put some bacon on it. Yeah. Put some bacon on it. Put some bacon on it. Put some bacon on it. Yeah. <laughs> on the second day of Meat Fest, our parents came to us. Wait, wait, we've got to start with the end. So, who won the Who's the Man competition? Ta da! Me. Joe decided that the test of manhood should not rely on athleticism alone. There's more to manhood than athleticism. Never go in against a Martinez when death is on the line! <laughs> Alright, so, so we started off with Home Run Derby.
man. And then, and then the best competition of all, the final one, I was not winning going into this last one. What was the last one? Oh. It was the... Chicken carving competition. So, so, so I purchased um, a whole chicken, uh, four whole chickens, one for each of us, and it was still in that wrapping with the juices and, and everything, mm -hmm. and I bought a, a, a little carving knife for everybody, mm -hmm. and I bought rubber gloves, you know, because we're sanitary. And, and the competition was the, the, the first man to cut up the chicken into eight servable pieces. Okay, so so this was the first year the dads were actually a little worried we were going to lose. So every year the dads smoke. We the demolish kids. those kids. We crush the, those kids. The kids are like so sad at the end of it. And last year was rough because yeah. it was like ninety-five degrees, humid. We had two half times for the football game. Two half times, and they were just so white by the end of it. But this year the weather cooperated yeah. a little bit better. Yeah. And the kids are working together better than Now they have strategy. Now they have practices oh, wow. ahead of time. And one of the complaints by the little kids in the past has been that the bigger kids didn't throw them the ball. And that was not the case this year. They yeah. really worked together as a team, and it was close. So for years, the dads have been saying that the kids need to realize that the dads are really covering the older kids. Yeah. And that if they would just throw the ball to the littler kids, they'd be wide open. And this year they actually figured that out. Yeah. But we give complete props to our friend Dan, who's kind of our Meat Fest commissioner. He's the chairman, the commissioner, the commissioner, commissioner of, of Meat Fest. And he does all the planning and, and the Hagedorns host it in Wisconsin. So thank you, Hagedorns, for your hospitality. And the Stubs get the award for the furthest distance because they come up from Florida. Yep. 
Well... We traveled 40,000 miles to get to this <laughs> And it kind of took us all year, it but... It took us all year to get here. Who was counting? Uh, so, so here's the thing with Meat Fest. Um, it, it, it's great to do these activities and have fun and create memories, but um, the, the, the greatest thing is really the, the friendships that have really been going since, since college and, and just after college. Uh, when, you, when you have those friendships that last a lifetime, uh, that started out before there's kids and now the kids vastly outnumber us, and now our kids are creating memories. Like, like that's just, that's golden. That is beautiful to see those friendships uh, last. You know, when, when you go through life and you live in this area and you live in that area and you have this career or that job, you know, you're, you're with people for a season and, and you move on. And, and it's rather unique to have these friendships that have really endured a lifetime. And uh, that is such a blessing to us. It's a blessing to the other families. And, um, you know, we want to share this with you so that, that uh, maybe inspire you. Lean into those friends uh, that you've had for a while and call them up and visit them and um, uh, be intentional about building those relationships. Um, these, these are the friendships that have really helped us endure um, through marriage and through raising kids. Uh, it's been such a blessing to us and, you know, we would encourage you to find, uh, find those friends and lean into them. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. We look forward to seeing you again next time. Some of the pig candy is burned. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and some is cooked normally. Yay! Anyway, if you don't like a piece, trade with someone else. Yay! Shout out to all my high school friends. All those hours spent listening to the Reservoir Dogs soundtrack paid off with paid our kids. Off. With our kids doing a, um, well, all of us yeah. doing a dance yeah, choreography. Choreography, skit, lip sync. I played the role of the coconut. The coconut. A couple of things. Yes, yeah, see, I have these from last year. There's an RV over there. And it has water. Oh, 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 I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> this was the Feast of Meat. Feast of Meat? It's, it's back there in Leviticus. <laughs> Look it up. Look we'll it up. It and then, of course, my lovely wife, Trisha. Thank you. Your constant support. Encouragement. It is not easy being a loser every year. Yes. <laughs> but she encouraged me and said, Joe. <laughs> Take some Tylenol. That's what you're <laughs>